Hi, my name is Ahmed and welcome to Dubai Real Estate Philosophy. In this video, we're going to be talking about the 9% corporate tax. Now, this is a bit of a different video, as you guys know, for our longtime followers that we usually make videos on real estate. So a lot of clients, they want to close up shop in their other countries. They want to come, they want to set up their businesses here in Dubai. And I get constant messages and emails saying that, yo, Ahmed, you used to tell us that Dubai is tax free. Now there's a nine person corporate tax. Then you told us that you can be exempt and now I have to pay it. So what's the whole situation? Why is it such a mess? And there's a lot of misinformation I see on the internet. Now me, of course, look, disclaimer, you should talk to your lawyers, your accountants. They're obviously going to give you the best advice. I am an accountant. ACCA is my background, so I do understand quite a bit about the corporate tax and everything. Now, look, number one, Dubai doesn't have any personal income tax. There's no capital gains tax. There's no withholding, anything like that on you personally. There's only one tax, which is indirect, which is a 5% VAT, value added tax. You buy anything, you pay 5% on it, okay? Which is, compared to the world, I mean, neighboring Saudi Arabia and all these other countries, they have 15% and in some areas in Europe, it's like 35, 40% sales tax, okay? Sales tax, VAT, same thing pretty much. So Dubai still has one of the lowest VATs in the world, bad taxes in the world, and it's indirect. The more you spend, the more you pay. If you don't spend, you don't pay. Now, moving to the corporate tax, let's, let's just zoom out a bit, right? If we look at the world economy, the thing is, all these countries, for example, let's say America, the EU nations, they have a lot of tax. What was happening is that a lot of companies, they would go to the BVI, British Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, Panama, all these, you know, areas, Ecuador and uh, Dubai, for that matter, to come and set up shop and do business outside. Okay, great. And the reason they used to do that is because we didn't have any corporate tax. So sometime back, all these massive powers like EU, World Bank, IMF, all these guys, they sat down and they said, well, this isn't fair. How come all these guys are doing business outside of America, showing as an outsider company and they're not paying any taxes? Well, we should have a worldwide minimum tax of 15% for all these big companies who are making hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Okay, great. Most of the countries, they already had more than 15%, so it was fine for them. Dubai still rejected that idea. They said, look, we don't want to do that because that's our whole thing. We don't want taxes. We don't need taxes because as I keep saying in our videos, Dubai is one of the most fiscally responsible governments in the world. We don't spend on anything. The only thing that gov Dubai government spends on is just a bunch of ministries they have, which are mainly digitalized. We don't need a lot of bureaucracy anyway. And most of the roads and communities are all funded by the private sector anyway, right? So it's not like we need a huge budget for roads and infrastructure and all these things. Sure, there's a massive amount of budget, but it's very, very less compared to the world. So anyway, so these guys, they denied it. But then the problem is there's a worldwide organization called the FATF they put us in the gray list now so there's a white list which is you're great for business there's a there's a gray list we're not going to get into all of the details to keep it very very simple we got entered into the gray list great now the problem was a lot of companies international companies they don't want to do business with countries or cities that are in the gray list so now we had to sit down dubai it was a big blowback for dubai us personally as you know our real estate companies and everything dubai economic department or uh, dubai economy as it's called here in dubai they came to most of the big companies in dubai they said look now we're going to have quarterly audits we need proper kyc forms know your customer forms uh, for all your customers we need aml anti, anti money laundering and we need to comply with all these things to make sure that the fatf removes us from the gray list so we can have business as well a lot of import export companies were having a lot of problems anyway and they said okay so we will introduce a nine percent corporate tax and we're going to have these quarterly audits and we're going to introduce kyc and aml just to appease this worldwide government now that's apparently like the world economic forum and all these guys just to appease them to remove us from the gray list okay great it worked out we got removed from the gray list and everything but now the problem was there was a slight legislation in the middle that exempted free zone companies now for those of you who know anything about dubai it's like if you have a free zone company you don't really work with the mainland companies in dubai so mainland companies are companies that are registered in dubai they work in dubai they're charged with nine percent if you're a free zone you're exempt then the fatf the world economic forum all these massive government guys big government guys social communist type governments they came and they said no you can't do that because a lot of companies they found a loophole and they started doing it so anyways regardless long story short they had to forcefully introduce nine percent corporate tax also on the free zone company this was a quite a lot of shock because there's still countries out there for example the bvi the british virgin island and stuff they still have zero percent corporate tax but the thing is they don't do a lot of import export or anything like that their whole business is just registering companies right dubai is not like that it's not just like a small caribbean island right it's a huge massive country uae or a city we have a culture we have all these things it's not just like some you know island in the middle of the ocean so it does affect us if we're in the gray list or in the white list so anyways long story short they had to do this it's not by their own thing people are like oh now they're addicted to this tax money they're gonna tax the hell out of people why do they need to charge tax people don't understand the dubai government again is one of the fiscally responsible governments in the world we have surpluses every year the united states government is 32 trillion dollars in debt we don't have any debt 
our governments are surplus. We collect more in taxes than we actually spend. So, and then we have to put that back in the government for the next year. Why would the Dubai government need more taxes, more control? Nothing, because they understand that free people, free businesses, free enterprise, free market capitalism is the reason we got here in the first place. So it makes no sense whatsoever why the Dubai government would impose this. This is a worldwide agenda, the World Economic Forum and all these other guys. There are some countries that are still against it. For example, a lot of you might've heard of Javier Mille, you know, the new president of Argentina. He's doing a phenomenal job in Argentina, cutting down government spending, reducing taxes, and you can see the results for yourself. I believe Argentina is gonna be an amazing place. Something like Dubai, obviously Argentina is much more bigger than Dubai, and you know, they have a longer history than Dubai, but it's a great place and it goes to show, you know, reducing government spending and all these things only helps you prosper. And we don't have a lot of government spending in the first place, as I keep mentioning in this channel that everything is done by the private sector. So this is just to clarify basically the reason why we had to put 9% corporate taxes to make sure that the FAT keeps us on the white list so we can keep importing exporting doing business with international companies i understand this is kind of a different video than we normally do but i felt that you know i had to address it so if you guys have any more questions if you want to know more about rules regulation if you want to set up your company here in dubai get the golden visa through dubai real estate or something like that feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can scan the qr code reach me directly on my whatsapp if you guys have any more questions uh, about like, the dubai economy or the worldwide events or why why it's called the merchant of hope so this was just a well not so quick but it was a decent video about corporate tax i hope it helped you guys thank you so much for watching this video see you guys in the next one goodbye for now and you can conveniently reach out to me directly on my whatsapp by scanning the qr code at the top right corner